Hello everyone assalamu alaikum welcome back to doctor teeth in this video we are going to talk about the buccal aspect of mandibular first molar now buccal aspect as you can see here it has four boundaries the mesial the distal the occlusal and the cervical right and this shape here this is trapezoidal in shape and its shorter side is towards the cervical portion let's talk about the mesial outline as you can see the mesial outline is convex here except at the cervical line here at the cervical line it is concave so towards the occlusal surface it is convex while at the cervical surface it is concave and if we divide the buccal aspect into threes the upper third middle third and the lower third so maximum convexity will be at the junction of the occlusal that is the upper third and the middle third let's talk about the distal outline the distal outline begins as a straight line near cervix so near the cervical region it is a straight line and soon it becomes convex forming the distal contact area at the middle third of the crown let's talk about the occlusal outline as you can see the outline is formed by three cusp two buccal cusp and a small distal cusp and in between them we have developmental groove we have two developmental grooves separating three cusp also note that the lingual cusp are little pointed compared to the buccal cusp so from the buccal surface the tips of the two lingual cusp are also seen the mesobuccal cusp is wider compared to the distobuccal cusp if we compare the sharpness the distobuccal cusp is relatively sharper in between the two buccal cusp we have the mesobuccal developmental groove and the end in the buccal pit this is a common area for the start of caries in between the distobuccal and the distal cusp we have the distobuccal developmental groove sometimes it can be absent also the cervical line curves apically and shows a sharp tip near the furcation 